blended finance is nothing new. But in international development is quite recent, and, it, and only in the last few years has it really gained people thinking about practical ways of bringing together aid funding with private capital to promote responsible investments that address the SDGs. One of the reasons there's more focus on blended finance today is the realization that we are a long way short of raising sufficient capital to meet the SDGs. Global financial assets are at around $500 trillion. If only a fraction of that capital could come into the least developed countries, it would make an enormous difference. But the reality still is today that private capital considers the risks too high and financial returns too low. Blended finance can either directly tackle the issue by providing a first loss tier of capital, or it can create viable businesses that themselves can then attract larger volumes of private capital in the future. There has been a lot of innovation in recent years. However, if you look at the volumes, the reality today is they're still far short of the ambition of turning billions of aid into trillions of investment. We do need to scale up blended finance now if we're serious about meeting the SDG deadline, which is only in 2030. Uh, and that will require a lot more resource from donors as much as from the private sector. There have been many questions asked about whether it's the right thing to do. However, if you can show that you are bringing in responsible private investment that is delivering impact at scale, that's addressing the SDGs, that is a highly efficient way of leveraging up aid money. Agriculture is one of the best ways of lifting people out of poverty. And agriculture is essentially at all levels of private sector activity. Let's find smart, efficient ways of bringing together aid and philanthropic capital and private capital to address the extreme poverty in, in rural areas.